Well, fear, stress, and anxiety can sometimes feel overwhelming and it can be paralyzing. Mm -hmm. But stress is just a fact of life. So learning how to handle it can make a world of difference for you and also your child's mental health. Yeah, so important, right? Christina Furnival is a mom, a therapist, and author of Fear Not, How to Handle Our Fear and Anxiety Head On. Uh -huh. She says confronting fears can really help kids feel a whole lot more confident. Uh, just such an important topic. So she's joining us now with the tools to get you where you need to go if you're stuck on fear. Christina, nice to see you. Hi, thank you for having me on. Well, so let's talk about it. Why is it a bad idea to try to get rid of your anxiety? Simply put, trying to avoid or push away our anxiety, it doesn't work. And what it actually does is makes everything worse in the long run. When we push away or avoid anxiety, we feel a fleeting sense of safety. And that reinforces that whatever we were avoiding is actually bigger or scarier. Mm -hmm. And it starts a cycle of more avoidance and more limits in your life. First off, I love the power pose on the cover. <laughs> <laughs> He's so um, cute, thank let's you. Let's talk about strength and power. How do we find the strength to work through our emotions when it comes to fear and anxieties? I want to help parents and children shape their relationship with anxiety. And part of that is realizing that we are powerful and that we can handle whatever comes our way. Anxiety is there to tell us, hey, warning sign but it's not necessarily telling us that there is a fire or an immediate risk or danger. So if we can recognize that it's looking out for us, that we have coping skills that we can use to help us handle it, and that anxiety, like every other feeling, comes and goes, then we know, okay, I can handle this for a little while. And the more that you learn to handle your anxiety or face your fears, the more strong that you feel and more empowered you become. So we don't always know when it's gonna creep up, right? But are there some exercises that can really help you calm your nervous system down? Sure thing. So there are two great exercises for really calming your nervous system and taking you from the fight or flight to the rest and digest. And one of them is deep breathing. You wanna breathe in for a count, let's say a four, hold your breath for another second longer and breathe out for even another second longer. If your exhale is longer than your inhale, you will really feel your system start to calm down. And another way to do that is through splashing water on your wrist, splashing water on your face. Mm -hmm. That helps your vagal nervous system to calm your whole system down. Oh, I didn't know that one. I would always get anxious before like a dance performance mm -hmm. and stuff, but I think it just kept me on my toes, you know, yeah. to go out there and like kill it. Um, okay, so uh, what about the five, four, three, two, one technique with kind of like calming yourself? Yeah, so five, four, three, two, one grounding is wonderful because it takes you out of your mind and out of those worried thought cycles and into your body. So with five, four, three, two, one, you wanna notice five things that you can see, four things that you can feel, three things that you can hear, two things that you can taste or smell, and one thing that you can taste. And you'll notice by the time you're done with the exercise, your nerves are so much calmer and you feel so much better. Okay. I guess you know kids take their emotional cues often from their parents. So what can parents do to try to set a good example while they're dealing with their own fear and anxiety? As a parent, one of our biggest tools is modeling. And if we have our own fears and anxieties, a lot of times we hide that from our children. And what the best thing can be is to age appropriate and developmentally appropriately, let them in. Wow, I'm re feeling really nervous about X, Y, or Z. And my heart's beating really fast and I'm feeling tingly in my hands. What do you think I should do? Do you think I should do some deep breaths? Should we sing a song? Should we do a silly dance? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. kind of show your child that anxiety is not something to be afraid of. It's something that you can work through and it is a part of life. And then by coaching your children too. Parents, we tend to have the inclination towards accommodating our children's fears because we don't want them to feel uncomfortable. Yeah, it makes but them by feel doing less so, right. fearful, right? Right, but so by, by helping your children avoid their fears, we're going back to that problem number one. So we really wanna show compassion and show validation and empathy while encouraging our children to face those fears heads, head on. And sometimes it takes stepwise. We might do a little bit towards working towards the fear. So Christina, before we let you go, where can people find Fear Not? Fear Not is available on Amazon. It's also available at ChristinaFurnival.com if you would like an author signed copy. And it is available on my publisher's website, PESI.com. All right. Great. Congrats on the book and great information, Thank that's you. for sure. Something we all, we all <laughs> need, right? <laughs> Facing our fears head on. Well, Christina, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.